So, 2 o'clock. Uh, let's end it. See what happens. <gasps> the war is over! Dun dun dun! We've survived, guys! Yay! Ugh. Day three, plea for help. Our neighbor felt unsafe and asked us to help her board up her windows, and we did that. Day five, helping each other. We helped a man get medication for his father. Day six, girl in peril. Pavle saved a girl from a drunken soldier. Day eight, desperate cry for protection. A frightened neighbor asked us to protect her against bandits. Anton agreed to help her. Day 14, saving life. Our neighbor's children asked us for medication for her. We shared the little we had with them. Day 15, tough decision. Pavle took others' people's supplies. Day 18, hungry children. The children we had helped earlier came to ask us for some food and we shared with them. Day 22, difficult choice. We robbed a man and his sick father. Day 23, blood on our hands. Pavle killed another civilian. That was the guy that tried to shoot us. Day 36, Rebel Investigation. Rebel soldiers asked us if our neighbor had stolen supplies from a humanitarian aid container. We lied to them and denied it. Day 39, buried alive. A shell hit a nearby tenement and some people were trapped under the Rebel. Anton helped pull them out. Day 45, ceasefire. Long-awaited ceasefire finally came into force, eventually putting an end to the fighting in Pogorin. Those who managed to survive the war in Graznavia would never forget it. I'm really surprised that it didn't include us freeing that girl. So Zaleta survived the war and was reunited with her brother in Canada. It took her some time to adjust to the new reality, but she found a job and even resumed her music studies at the Royal Conservatory in Toronto. The war didn't extinguish the flame that drove Sveta to give everything to her calling, and one day she got a visit from a former, former pupil, the same who made a frantic call one Friday to make sure that his old school had really been evacuated. While war left deep marks on Anton's character, he returned to teaching with newfound determination, and while too old for the Fields Medal, he is still eligible for the equally prestigious Able Medal. Or Abel Prize, sorry. Pavle survived the war. After months of searching, despite numerous difficulties, he managed to find his wife and son, who had sought refuge in France. He went there to live with them. They never came back to Pogorin. Alright guys, so you have seen. We made it through with the starting characters. Um, as far as the other try goes, we have three left that I haven't done. We have Zleta and Amelia. Marin, Erica, and Katya, and Amelia and Roman. So if you guys want to go ahead and um, let me know your votes, what you want to see uh, starting tomorrow, those are the three, and I will tally them up. Um, you can put them here in the chat. You can send them to me in a private message. Um, you can tweet me with your vote, or uh, send me a message on YouTube, whichever. Um, but I have to get off here, and I have to go and make some dinner. I am starving, and I have to get ready for the stream. Uh, later tonight guys so it was really awesome I can't believe we made it I'm so excited um, and I will see you guys later tonight again just type your votes in the chats or whatnot or send me a message and let me know thanks Mike all right guys I'll see you later <laughs>